Hello everyone and welcome to Addicted to Tech and in today's episode I'm going to be unboxing the Raspberry Pi 5. You can pick up a Raspberry Pi 5 from Amazon, there is links in the description box below. They are affiliate links, if you guys use them it comes at no extra cost to you but I do get a little kickback for you using them links so I do appreciate that. It helps support the channel. So I brought this kit specifically from Pi Maroni. The reason why I did is because I bought the case, I like their rainbow case which I'll show you in a minute what that looks like. I bought an NVMe base um, add-on so that we can cover that in a future episode how that works. But specifically right now I'm going to be looking at the case and the Rasi Pi. So I'm going to put that to one side. So I'm going to unbox the Rasi Pi 5 now and I also bought the official power supply with it as well as the official active cooler. And the case is from Pi Maroni but that's separate. So I'm going to open up the Raspberry Pi to start with. You can see the box that it comes with there. And what is written on the box. And with the Raspberry Pi you can open it at the side here. So it's got a little, little bit of cardboard here that you lift up. And I want to keep it as neat as I can. Okay. So once you've got that side bit open. which is just glued down, you can open up the whole top and there you have the Raspberry Pi 5. And then we have the active cooler here, so you can see what's on the packaging here. So the active cooler will just keep it a lot cooler than what the standard one that comes with a lot of the, um, the cases. This active cooler should keep it really, keep the temperatures down on it. So let's open up this now. And there's the active cooler. It comes with the plug there to put it into the PCB board. And it has some of the thermal blocks on the bottom there. And then of course we've got the adapter, power adapter which is the official one, so it comes like that. It has the logo on the top and you can see the writing now on the side. And then last but not least we have the case which is the rainbow case. And I'm going to open it here. I quite like the packaging that they've uh, they've done with this. It looks quite nice. It's a nice touch. And there is the case itself, which you've got to assemble. This looks pretty straightforward. So I'm going to show you how to assemble that in a minute. So let's take out the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi 5 also comes with this little booklet here. You guys can see that. And it also comes with this instruction here. You can see that, telling you how to handle it correctly. So basically the blue goes on the bottom, then it'll be the green next, and then it'll be the yellow, and then it's the red, and then it's the white. So that's the order it goes in. So the instructions to build this come on their website. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for the uh, link to build this Pibo case. Um, so there is some instructions on there which we're going to follow through with now and see how we can construct this. So you can see right there it's got a number. That one says zero. So you can peel this off.
And there you go. Makes it nice and shiny. Let's pop that to one side for the minute. Okay, so this is our base here. So then we need to get in the next layer and we pull this off here. And then the next layer goes on like so. So that says layer one. And I think you can see that there. Can you guys see that there where it says one? There you go, you can just see it there. So now that goes next. And then the next layer, we've got the yellow, which should say two. And it's in the top left. It's all in the top left. The top left goes to the top left there. So we've got the three layers on there now. So in the next step, we need to get the pie. So the pie five will go down now on this. And it does, it just fits in there nice and neatly. That's it. You had it kind of click into place. So now we're going to add layer three. Again, we're going to take this off. It's a bit difficult to get this off. There you go. And that's it. There you are. And then we've got number three written there. Again in the top left, there it is. And then that goes on top and down the side of the pie like so. And there you go. That's it. That's all in place. So now we're going to fit the active cooler. So we're going to take this off of here. And these are directly sticky now. And so what we do with the active cooler is it goes this way around. These don't seem to go on anything. They just rest on top. Just like so. And you can see the legs of the active cooler these need to be screwed into these holes that you can see here so I'm going to do that drop that in so what I've got here is some tweezers I'm just going to put that down there and see if it helps me put it in Okay, so you just got to fully push it down. You got to be quite, you got to be quite um, heavy with it to get it to go down. There you go, and it just clicks into place. So you just have to push them right down hard as you can get it, and it will lock into place. So that's the active cooler on there. So the final layer to go on is layer four. So we're going to take this sticker off here. So there's no number on this, but if you look here, you can see that the um, it's kind of cut into it there at the end. You see, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but we'll soon find out. And so this is going to go on this way now. Just like so. So now we're going to need to secure the pie bow using these. So there you are. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here first. And then down there. And the same in that corner there. And the same in this corner. And then I'm going to lift it up 
and push that down. And you can see it's just come through the bottom. Just put your finger on there now. You can just screw that on. And I'm going to do the same for the, each corner now. Don't over tighten them because you don't want to break it. So I'm just doing this finger tight to make sure all these close up and that way it's on properly. Yeah, that feels snug. And we've taken that cap off, which we probably could have got out with the tweezers if we tried to get in there, but it's best to take that cap off before you put that final piece on the top. And now all it means is we've got to stick this fan power cable in. Like so. Push it down with your finger. And there you have it there. So that concludes the unboxing of the Raspberry Pi 5. I am looking forward to getting hands on with this device and really pushing it to its limits. I am going to be testing the GPIO pins and how they interface with electronics. I'm going to be looking at the usual home server stuff, so don't worry, I still will be covering that. And I really wanna give this device a good test run to see what we can achieve with it and to really push it to its limits. So if you guys are interested in this kind of content, I would be grateful if you could like this and subscribe as well as hit that notification bell to be notified of any of our new content. So all that leads me to do now is to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.